Welcome to Queen Mary University of London. Formed of four historic institutions, we have a long history dating back to 1785 and beyond. St Bartholomew's Hospital Medical College and the London Hospital Medical College were formed to provide health care to local communities in East London and the city. Westfield College and Queen Mary College were established to provide education to women and working class communities respectively. Today we wanted to share with you some of the lesser known spaces on our campuses. So we're going to meet some really interesting people who can tell us more about the stories behind them. Our first location is here on the Mile End campus. Let's go and meet Ella, the chaplain at St Bennet's. Hello! Hi! Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So Ella, you're the chaplain here at St Bennet's. Can you tell us more about the history? Yes, I can. The uh, original church was Victorian and it was bombed in the Second World War. And uh, this chaplaincy was created in the 1960s when the university campus began to grow up around us. So it encompassed us, as it were. And now we are here just for the staff and students of the university. So Ella, we're here in the sitting room now, but through those doors behind you is the chapel and there's some incredible artworks on the walls. Can you tell me more about those? Yes, they were um, done by an artist, Polish artist called Adam Kosowski. They're um, not painted on, they're two layers of plaster, it's called, a technique called scrofico, and you have to uh, scrape out one layer to reveal the other, it's a really physical process. Uh, he was a uh, prisoner of war uh, in a Russian gulag for five years um, in the Second World War. And so the themes uh, which are all uh, depicting the, from the book of Revelation, which is the last book of the Christian scriptures, um, they're all themes which would have resonated with him, themes of oppression and liberation. And uh, they also talk about hope. Thanks very much, Ella. This has been really interesting. No problem, it's my pleasure. Uh, there are lots of other little stories about St Bennet's which are really interesting and uh, lots of other bits of history. So if anybody is interested or would like to find out a bit more, just contact us on our website, which is on the faith pages of the university. Next, I've come to the Garrod Building in Whitechapel to meet Claire the Archivist. She's going to tell me more about some murals on the secret underground tunnel walls. Hi Claire. Hi Sarah, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So welcome to the Garrod Building. This is the original London Hospital Medical College building and underneath our feet are the murals in the tunnels. Amazing. Should we go in? Let's take a look. So can you tell us more about the tunnels that are beneath this building? Yes, so there are a number of tunnels that run um, beneath us that connect different parts of the hospital and the campus together. The tunnel we're going to see today connects um, where we are now, the Garrod building, through to the part of the old London hospital. Um, it's not currently used, it's not currently generally accessible, so we're quite lucky to get access to it today. And what is it about the murals on the walls? Um, what do we know about them? So the murals are a bit of a mystery. What we do know is that they were created in the 1980s as part of a job creation scheme at Mile End Hospital. So they were created by members of the community working from photographs, um, basically painting scenes from East End London life. Um, the murals were displayed at the Mile End Hospital and then they were moved here at some point, but that's all we know. That's amazing. Shall we go take a look? Let's go. Claire, this has been so interesting. I'll see you soon. My pleasure, Sarah. Thank you for visiting. Bye. Bye. Now we're heading to Whitechapel Library to meet Caroline Swash. She's going to tell us more about the beautiful stained glass windows. So Caroline, tell me about yourself and your connection to this building. I'm a stained glass artist. My husband is Professor Michael Swash, who's been uh, working at the London Hospital for, for many years. This, this collection of windows select by a Professor Hanisch, Johannes Schreiter was, was really a mixture of my enthusiasm for new stained glass and um, Michael's enthusiasm for 
medical educational imagery. So tell us about the design and construction of these windows. It's very unique to this particular artist and unique to the cons very considerable skills of the glassblowers in Germany. And Johannes chose uh, really a theme color. In the evening, you get a golden glow. In the daytime, you get a sort of light purplish, almost bluish tone. And the idea behind it was that it would tune with the stonework and would not shed sharp beams of light upon anybody who was studying within the building. So it was tailor-made, inspirationally tailor-made for students. That was really interesting. Thanks, Caroline. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Finally, we've come to West Smithfield to meet Steve from Bart's Pathology Museum. He's going to tell us more about the museum and the story behind his office. So Steve, thanks very much for talking to us today. Before we go and look at your office, which is upstairs, can you tell me more about this space that we're in now? Yeah, this is the uh, Pathology Museum. It was uh, opened in, oh, let me think, it was 1879, I think it was. So the museum was the centre for uh, medical students to study their trade, or their profession rather, and uh, this block, this building, was the original medical school attached to Bart's Hospital. So it consisted of the museum, the lecture theatre downstairs, and the library on the ground floor. And we're going to see your office in a minute, so what's the story behind your office? Allegedly, well it's not allegedly actually, it's actual fact that um, Conan Doyle uh, wrote a study in Scarlet in our office, in the curator's office upstairs, and uh, this is where Sherlock Holmes was introduced to Dr. Watson. So Sherlock Holmes, his office is your office? Uh, Sherlock Holmes worked in there, Sherlock Holmes studied in this museum. Should we go and take a look? Yeah sure, come on let's go upstairs and have a look. So this is your office? Yes, this is the uh, curator's office and this is the uh, famous or infamous, whichever you want to call it, fireplace that uh, Holmes is supposed to have stood and uh, welcomed Dr. Watson. And of course uh, when Conan Doyle was uh, working in here, his view, unlike today, was that he would be able to see St Paul's out of the window. I don't know whether it gave him inspiration or not, but uh, it was certainly a nice place to work at the time. Thanks very much, Steve. Okay, it's a pleasure. This brings us to the end of the tour. You can find out more about our research, degree programmes and public engagement by visiting qmul.ac.uk.